Hey everyone, welcome back to Reading with Tatiana. Today I'm doing my February read. I know I'm a little late because almost mid-March, but I actually moved provinces in Canada, so I haven't had time to actually really read or film, but I still wanted to um, capture what I read in February. I actually only read two books, and that's partly be because I moved, but also because Love is Blind Season 2 came out, so I binged it really hard all throughout February. Before I get into my two reviews for February, I just want to remind you if you can hit the subscribe button, if you can give this video a thumbs up, if you can also leave a comment if you read the books or if you have any suggestions for my videos, I would really appreciate it. So my two books that I read were both a solid fours, but in very different ways. One of them is if you want to read a historical fiction that kind of draws at your heartstrings and make you feel devastated but also hopeful, uh, that's a solid four. My other four um, it is definitely an uplifting light read and it just makes you feel good because everything kind of turns out good in the end but there is a bittersweet twist. My first book in February was All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr and this book I think is pretty I guess relevant now because we have the Ukraine Russia war happening. So this war is set during this story, sorry, is set during World War II. It's a historical fiction and it kind of gives you an insight insight um, view of the day to day life for people during a world war. And so there's three plot lines in this novel. The first one is with uh, Saint uh, Marie Lal, who is a Parisian girl who's blind, who's fleeing Paris during the occupation. The second story, we follow Werner, who is an orphan German boy who gets recruited by the Nazi party and is trained to be a soldier in the war. And in the third plot, we follow von Rumpel, who is an active Nazi party member, and he's a gemologist. So this novel is quite long, it's about five over 500 pages, and we follow all three plots that kind of are separated, but they all kind of come together to a very, like, loud crescendo near the end and yeah the book is really good because you feel a lot of heartbreak for these people but you also see how there's hope in your day even during a time of war so i definitely recommend this book especially with the current world events right now my second book for february was instructions for dancing by nicola yoon and this book talk uh we follow a senior a senior year of high school girl whose parents just divorced so she's very bitter and feeling fairly like not great about love and then she comes across this manual called instructions for dancing and when she comes across this manual she also has this ability to, when she sees two people kiss she can see their origin story how they fell in love and also how they eventually fall out of love either by heartbreak or death so this book kind of talks about what it's like to have love and loss, what it's like to fall in love, and also what's great about love, what's bad about love, but how in the end it kind of all pays off. Um, this book really spoke to me because I'm a child of divorce, and just to see the main character go through her parents' divorce and how it affects her view on love really spoke to me as well. Um, this book is very heart lifting, it's very easy read. Um, there is an unexpected twist, I won't talk about it obviously, so I feel this book, even though it's a young adult fiction um, book. It actually is quite surprising and a very delightful read. That wraps up my February reads. It's just two books and you know what? That's okay because not every month can be a lot of books. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very short, very simple. If you read these books, I would love to hear what you think. If you want to read these books um, and you want to learn more about it before you read it, I will link my two full reviews down below. And I'll see you guys next time for my next book review. Bye, guys.